to 12. Now, we've talked, uh, I think it's October 28th, the nomination is closed. We're going to nominate for Lord Mayor of Melbourne. You've got to get yourself in by then. Robert Doyle's thinking about it. We've spoken to several people who are candidates on the lines of another such person has requested sort of a, a, a message through. Candidate for Lord Mayor. He's an MCC committee member already. Will Fowles, good morning. Morning, Neil. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sure. Yep. Uh, Neil, I'm uh, standing this campaign to offer a free vision for the city of Melbourne. I'm very excited about the opportunity to uh, talk about safer streets during the course of this campaign, to talk about real responses to climate change and to talk about um, de-clogging the city streets. Um, I think uh, it's important that voters recognise in this campaign that they have some choices to make between um, uh, leaders who been around the block a few times and generational change and I'm, uh, I'm really excited about uh, putting out a fresh vision for the City of Melbourne and, and actually uh, having that dialogue with uh, with residents and ratepayers over the course of this campaign. You have cleared up the city? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, I'm uh, announcing today that we're going to uh, spend an additional $2 million over the next four years. Sorry, how much? Two million dollars. Two million, yeah. yeah. Over four years, an additional two million to um, boost the scope of the council's CCTV monitoring scheme. It's known as the Safe City Camera Program, and I think it should be a council priority. We will uh, appropriately fund it, both the capital expenditure and the monitoring requirements, uh, as, the, as um, worked out in consultation with Victoria Police. So we're, we're, they're doing a terrific job at the moment in difficult circumstances. Where would you uh, get the money for it? Uh, th- th- there are significant savings that we've identified in council budget papers. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm committing over, over the course of this campaign, I'm, I'm committing to um, the CPI adjustments to rates only. We're not talking about rate increases over and above CPI. Um, the, the, the rate indication that's been council practice for the past four yes. years will be um, practice if I'm elected Lord Mayor. So where, where are you going to get the savings? Well, there's already a budget surplus that's going to fund part of this activity, and there are some savings in terms of the, the, the ordinary business of government that, that we've identified. I'm not going to go into the detail of that because... Well, yeah, I, I am, and there are matters that I'll, uh, I'll save up if, if I'm elected as Lord Mayor. Well, you're not going to tell people until after you're elected how you're going to do it. Well, the, 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 these are quite detailed matters that I don't intend. Well, why don't we share them with the voters? Well, I, I, I'm, sharing, I'm sharing my first vision with the, the voters. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. It's a pretty key point. You, you, how are you going to pay for it? You're not going to tell us until after you're elected. There's a $5 million budget surplus that we have first um, elected yeah. to buy. And there are, in the course of a business that turns over $300 million yeah. a year, 20 opportunities to tighten the waste belt. Yeah, but you won't tell us where. I'm a businessman, business, Neil. Uh, I've, I've been in business <laughs> for years. I've got businesses that turn, that turn over millions of dollars. Yeah. Every single time I look at these businesses, yeah, I find on. an opportunity. All right. I'm, I'm happy with all that. But, but, but please understand that if you're standing for public office and you're talking about tightening belts and cutting, you've got to tell people before you're elected, not after. Published in the newspaper. 
where three of is in the phone book, and you had to go and ask the membership people at the MCC to get out of contact. I did not ask the membership people. Well, who's your ask? Communications manager. I asked the communications manager whether he was able to get in touch. And the MCC holds my private details. And I had to get in touch with you. No, 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 Shane, Shane, the communications manager at the MCC is a communications manager who necessarily has relationships with your... And you very decently approached us and said, do you mind, is it all right to pass on the private numbers that we hold? And I said, oh, 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 I, I didn't ask the private numbers. Very decently. Oh, 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 anyway, that's a side issue. Your team, your team um, hadn't been in touch with us despite our attempts. We were trying to do that. I'm glad we're having a conversation today. Well, I don't think we should be glad because it, that, what's far more important than this is the fact that you've got these cuts planned for the Melbourne City Council but you won't tell us until you're elected. And I think that's absolute nonsense. Imagine if Kevin Rudd said that. Oh, I'm going to flash and burn. I can't say you won't do. I don't think we're taxes, but I don't think we're doing. I don't know if you use an opportunity to read the council budget, but unfortunately it's a document that's right on detox. We've already identified an accounting anomaly in the order of $60 million in those budget documents. So I have to say, I'm not prepared to rely on the on the absolute detail of those documents. No. Actually, that detail is pretty scarce. No, what I will say is, is, is we will find the money to fund this CCTV expansion. We think it's important. You told me you've already identified it, but you won't tell me what you've identified. I've identified the areas where the cuts are going to come from. And what are they? Until I have, okay. until I have Neil, okay. until I have all the information in front of me, the, 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 this document, this bunch of documents, is a flawed document. Oh, look, I agree. With all the information in front of me, I'm okay. not going to commit to the, okay. to the line item detail of these bunch of cuts. Okay. And, and, and that's, that's just a function of the quality of the documentation we have. Thank you for speaking with us. You're welcome. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate. And uh, the other candidate was the Greens bloke. Oh, the city of Melbourne. Have a look, it's a beautiful day. It's a magnificent day. And the quality of people we're putting up who want to run for Lord Mayor. Robert Doyle might yet. He's starting to look good. It used to be all about.